you have already been introduced to HTML and you created simple web pages using HTML. Look at a few websites on the internet. They do not have just plain text. They have formatted text with images and other visually appealing characteristics. In this chapter, you will look at how to format or style your web page in HTML. HTML text formatting. You know how to write headings and paragraphs in HTML. You may like to go a step ahead and make your web page more stylish and presentable. This is called text formatting. Look at the browser output below. It is not just plain headings and paragraphs. What do you see? The text is bold. This text is strong. This text is bigger than normal paragraph text. This text is smaller than normal paragraph text. This text is italic. This text is emphasized. This is subscript like in H2O. This is superscript like in first. HTML text display. Now, look at the HTML behind this formatted text. P, B. This text is bold. Slash P, slash B. P, strong. This text is strong. Slash strong, slash P. P, big. This text is bigger, slash big, than normal paragraph text, slash P. P, small. This text is smaller, slash small, than normal paragraph text, slash P. P, I. This text is italic, slash I, slash P. P, E, M. This text is emphasized, slash E, M, slash P. P, this is sub, subscript, slash sub, like in H, sub, 2, slash sub, O, slash P. P, this is sub, superscript, slash sub, like in 1, sub, ST, slash sub, slash P. This table summarizes the HTML tags used. Tag, description, B tag, defines bold text. This is only for visual effect. Strong tag defines strong text. Strong here indicates important information. A screen reader software will interpret the B and strong tags differently. Most browsers display strong tag as bold text. Big tag defines big text. Small tag defines small text. I tag defines text in italics. This is only for visual effect. EM tag defines emphasized text. This tag indicates emphatic or important text to the screen reader software. It is displayed as italics in most browsers. Sub tag defines superscript text. Sub tag defines subscripted text. HTML Cascading Style Sheets CSS Cascading Style Sheets CSS are used to define the layout and presentation of an HTML document. It is the recommended way of styling HTML pages, but CSS is a vast topic and is out of the scope of this book. There are three types of CSS. In Live CSS, Internal CSS, External CSS. HTML Style Attribute The preferred and recommended way of adding formatting and styling specifications is to use CSS syntax and save it in a separate .css file. This is external CSS. But to simplify examples and to help you try out code yourself, the HTML style attribute which is embedded CSS. The style attribute has various properties like background color, font family color, font size, etc. that help to format the text in the desired way. The general form of style attribute is Tag style is equal to Quote Property 1 is to value 1 Property 2 is to value 2 Property 3 is to value 3 Unquote Some text Slash tag Change background color The background color property defines the background color of HTML elements. The example given below have been added color background to whole page and also to the heading and the paragraph. Welcome to HTML. Are you having fun?
The code behind is HTML body style is equal to background color is to blue, H2 style is equal to background color is to yellow. Welcome to HTML exclamation mark slash H2. P style is equal to background color green. Are you having fun? Slash P slash body slash HTML. Experiment by changing the background of various elements in HTML. Change the font, size and color of the text. You are familiar with styling text in a word processing software like Microsoft Word. How can you style text in HTML? You can use the properties font family, color and font size. HTML font size display The code behind is HTML body H1 style is equal to font family is to Arial. Welcome to HTML exclamation mark slash H1. P style is equal to font family is to times Roman comma color is to red comma font size is to 20 px. Are you having fun slash P slash body slash HTML. Notice how more than one style have been specified in the style attribute. Try adding background color here. Change text alignment. To specify whether the text is left aligned, center aligned or right aligned, you can use the text align property. HTML text alignment display. The code behind is HTML body H1 style is equal to text align is to center Welcome to HTML exclamation mark slash H1. P. I am left aligned slash P. P style is equal to text align is to right. I am right aligned slash P slash body slash HTML. Notice that text align can be specified for heading and paragraph tags. You will also observe that we did not specify text align for left alignment. This is because all text is left aligned by default. See what happens when you specify text align tag in the body element.